Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. This is series 3 where we are learning a lot about trigonometry. Today is episode number 18 and friends this is a continuation from episode 17. So we are trying to find out different kinds of questions, problems that you may be getting on trigonometric ratios involving complementary angles and so this is part 2. The episode 17 was part 1. So let's find out what kind of questions you will be getting on this topic and more importantly how do we go and solve them. So just wanted to have uh, a, you know, a, a placeholder where we can just you know, remind ourselves the trigonometric ratios of some very important angles that we absolutely must know. And I have mentioned this earlier that these specific angles, 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degrees, for all these ratios, this is something that you would like to remember you know, and memorize the way you know the tables, like tables of 2 through 20. Similarly, these ratios you absolutely want to remember and remind yourself whenever you get a chance, go over them again and again. Now, we also saw earlier that trigonometric ratios of complementary angles in a, in a right angle triangle like this, where let's say angle B is 90 degrees, we know angle A and angle C are complementary angles. So we have seen this earlier. So sine 90 minus A equals cos A, cos 90 minus A equals sine A, tan 90 minus A equals cot A, cot 90 minus A equals tan A, cosec 90 minus A equals sec A, and sec 90 minus A equals cosec A. This is very important for you to remember these trigonometric ratios for complementary angles. Now in the last webisode, our focus was mostly these kind of problems. So now how do you find tan 65 degrees by cot 25 degrees or cos 48 minus sine 42 degrees? Prove that you know this expression is equal to 1 degree or prove that this expression is actually equal to 0 degrees. So the important point here is that friends even though none of the angles here if you look at each of these angles none of them are 0 degrees or 30 degrees or 45 degrees or 60 degrees or 90 degrees. None of these angles are these so to speak standard angles yet we learned in the last webisode, how do we solve each of these kinds of questions? If these are given to us, how do we, even though they are not standard angles, using complementary angles and trigonometric ratios of complementary angles, how do we go ahead and solve these questions? In this webisode, we are going to focus on a little bit different type of questions. That is, if tan 2a equals cot a minus 18 degrees, where 2a is an acute angle, find the value of a. So we are given a relationship and we have to find out what is the value of a. So how do we go and solve these questions? Well, our strategy will be, so trigonometric ratios of complementary angle questions and how do we solve them? So if you get these kind of questions, the way you're going to look at them is this. So first try and express both sides of the equation in terms of same trigonometric ratio using complementary angles ratio. So this is very important. So if you have this kind of question, what you are trying to do is you want to express both the left-hand side and right-hand side of the given equation you have. You want to express both of them in terms of the same trigonometric ratio using complementary angles ratio. And then you want to solve it. So what do we mean by that? So it means that if I have tan here, tan of some angle equals cot of some angle, my goal would be to get both of this on left hand side and right hand side, either in terms of tan or cot or sine or cos or cosec or sec. It depends on what the ratios are given, but it is important that we are trying to get both of them in terms of the same ratio and then solve to find out value of A. So here, friends, one important thing to understand is if this ratio is true, they look at this, 2A is an acute angle, find the value of A. How can we use this information, 2A is an acute angle? Remember, in complementary angles, like we have seen for a right angle triangle ABC, right angle at B, that A plus C is 90 degrees, and so we say that these two are complementary angles. In order for them to be complementary angles, each one of them must be less than 90 degrees, right? 
So each one of them must be acute angles. So if it is given that 2A is an acute angle, then we can write tan. So if you were to just think about this as tan some angle, let's call it X. We can write tan some angle as cot 90 minus X. As long as this X is an acute angle, because we have seen this as part of our complementary angles ratio, if both A and C are uh, equal to, if you add them, they're equal to 90 degree. And if both of them, so each one of them must be an acute angle, right? So if 2A here, 2A is an acute angle, this is given to us that 2A is an acute angle, then we can say tan of an acute angle is equal to cot 90 minus X. So if you use this here, so what this will become is that we have tan, we have tan 2A equal to cot, let's write the question, A minus 18. This is what we have. Now, instead of writing this, we are going to write this as cot 90 degree minus 2A equal to cot A minus 18. Right? So, tan 2A is written as cot 90 minus 2A because 2A is an acute angle. If it is an acute angle, we can actually use the complementary angles ratios. Right? Now, cot of some angle equal to cot of this angle, that means these two values must be same or in other words, 90 minus 2A, this value must be same as A minus 18. Or in other words, if you take this 2A on this side, so it will become plus 2A and this 18 will come on the other side. So you will have 2A plus A, which is 3A equal to 90 plus 18. We are trying to get the 2A on this side and 18 on the other side. So 2A will become plus 2A and minus 18 will become plus 18. So we will have 2A so 3A equals to 90 plus 18 will be 108. Or in other words, let's do it here. A will be equal to 108 divided by 3. If you solve it, I believe it will be 3, 3 is a 9, 1, 6. 1, 8, 3, 6 is a 18. So A is 36 degrees. So friends, here, this is a different kind of question. It is not the same type of question that we have seen earlier. For example, these questions. This question was different. Now let's take a look at one more such question. So here what we have is if tan A equals cot B, prove A plus B is 90 degrees. How do we do this? It looks really straightforward. But let's see how we can actually do this. So again, our goal is to express both sides in terms of the same trigonometric ratios same trigonometric ratio. So what we can say is that tan A can be written as cot 90 minus A. Right? So if you do that, so instead of this, you can write cot 90 minus A is equal to cot B. Right? So cot of some angle equal to cot of another angle. That means 90 minus A must be equal to B or if you take A on the other side, it will become minus A will become plus. So A plus B will be equal to 90 degrees and hence it is proved. We had to prove A plus B equal to 90 degrees and we have just proved A plus B is indeed 90 degrees. So friends, before we wrap up, let's take a look at maybe one more question of this type. So here what we have is sec 4a equal to cosec a minus 20 where 4a is an acute angle. So this is our clue. If 4a is an acute angle, that means so we want to get both sides again on the same trigonometric ratio. So our clue is 4a is an acute angle. So sec, 
something is equal to what as part of complementary angles ratio sec equals to cosec 90 minus x so then we can say sec 4a equals to cosec 90 minus 4a so if you replace this then what we have is we have cosec 90 minus 4a equal to cosec a minus 20 cosec a minus 20 so cosec of one angle is equal to cosec of another angle that means these two values must be same so 90 minus 4a must be equal to a minus 20 or if you take the minus a on the other side so minus a plus a minus 4a plus a will be 5a equal to and the 20 comes here it becomes 90 plus 20 110 or a is equal to 110 divided by 5 which will be 5 2 is a 10 1 2 22 so a is equal to 22 so friends I hope that you are following us along and the last webisode and this webisode we looked at some of the different types of questions that you will be getting on how to apply complementary angle ratios and how we solve these type of questions.